Hey, 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 family. It's your girl, Evelyn of the Evelyn Inc. And I am back with another makeup haul. So listen, I, I, I'm in a dilemma. So I have lots of things that I want to talk about, but I'm also really been back into makeup lately. Like makeup has been a joy of mine since I can remember. And I think it's because when I was younger, my mom used to sell makeup on the side. So she didn't do Mary Kay or, Alou um, or Re um, Avon, but there was a company back then called Alouette. And so she used to do that when I was really, really young and she used to take me to the shows with her. So I think makeup has um, a nostalgic flair for me. And at this phase of my life, because cooking was like my main passion and I turned my main passion into my profession, I feel like this one has kind of like, you know, resurfaced and reblossomed because I remember really being into makeup in college and I've always been, in, you know, really into makeup and I never really allowed myself to, you know, dive deep in and enjoy. And just at this phase of my life, that's what I want to do. So... Um, there might be a lot more beauty content coming your way. I hope you're okay with that. As some of you know, I spent last year, part of last year on like a personal project that I called curating your beauty or curating my beauty, which it was very, very involved. I'm extra. I like to turn stuff into projects. <laughs> and so it was, it was quite a project, but I basically completely revamped my makeup collection, my skincare collection, um, my hair care products, uh, the majority of my wardrobe. Um, I just kind of like tossed everything out and started from scratch. So I'm still kind of on the trail end of like buttoning that up and only to realize that I'm really enjoying it. But I picked up a few things recently and listen, this is how you know I'm like out of practice in the whole, you know, or never really been in practice in the whole YouTube beauty space because this stuff has been out and I'm late to the party. Well, I got it when it first came out, but I'm late to the party. So I have a couple of things here. Well, I have several things here from Pat McGrath. And one other thing, Pat McGrath is quickly becoming one of my favorite beauty brands. And you guys don't know this about me because I haven't talked about it on my channel much, but I love, I love, I love blush. Like some people are big on like, oh, they want to change their base products, whether it be their foundation or their concealer or their powders, their bronzers, I'm, you know, or contours, I'm kind of like, give me a few options, but I don't need a lot. When it comes to blush, eyeshadow, and lip products, it's like cooking for me. It's like opening up a pantry full of spices and what recipe am I going to cook on my face today? That's literally how I feel about makeup. So let's get into it. So I want to start with the oldest Pat McGrath thing that I picked up because this came out I think last year, but I just picked it up because it was on sale. And this is the Mothership Rose Decadent. So I have um, the full Mothership in Divine Rose 2, which I absolutely love. And so it was on sale. So I figured that I would pick it up. It's got the sleeve here. Let's see if I can take it out. Okay. And so these are the shades. Um, oops. Yeah, I'm so out of practice. They're actually showing up lighter on camera than they are in person. I will say this. I, I don't love it. Um, my motherships I love. It's okay. Well, let me say this. Let me say this. It's a good, it's a good palette. It's just that when Pat McGrath has given you the best and in her motherships and in her quads and things like that, this one doesn't tickle my fancy to the same extent as the other ones as her other like full-blown mothership palettes do okay so uh, mother pat also came out with a new collection her divine blush collection and i want to talk about it i want to talk about it <laughs> i want to talk about it as a darker skinned woman who really wanted to buy the hermes blushes but i knew I knew when them pictures dropped that the blushes was not for me as a dark skinned woman who is into high end and luxury makeup. I knew that they weren't for me. And so when I saw Pat drop her blushes, I did not come to play. Okay. <laughs> so um, she released nine blushes. I'm pretty sure if you're into makeup, you this is old news to you, but she, she released nine shades of the divine blush collection i picked up four i mean i picked up five of the shades now one of the shades 
I am using as a blush and that is Desert Orchid, okay? And this is the beautiful packaging. Yes, I keep Pat McGrath's boxes because I do. Um, people say that these are hard to open. I don't think so. They're not hard to open for me, but this is Desert Orchid, okay? It looks, again, it looks much lighter in the camera. I knew because this is like a satiny shimmer like a slight shimmer finish and the rest are demi matte i knew that this would not be blush on me i actually knew that this would be highlight on me and because i am not the kind of person who typically wears highlight uh, because i just don't like the streak i don't like the glitteriness i don't like the reflectiveness i have very 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 oily skin and i live in texas and so it's hot and so my my face already gets reflective <laughs> i don't i don't necessarily like that but i do sometimes like i'll i like i don't mind a shimmery blush and so i wanted to get this as like the world's softest highlight so it's weird i don't like a highlighter but i don't mind a shimmery blush it's weird i think it's because there's less sparkle there but anyway i got desert orchid to do that for me and like you can't even really see it on my finger. Y'all, I would swatch it on my arm, but I literally have like five ant bites on my arm. I don't know if you can see that. I've got like castor oil on it, but listen, I'm going to have to get better at swatches. This is how you know your girl is just now getting into this beauty content creator space, okay? Because I'm normally just a chatty, chatty, chatty McCathy, okay? Which I have some of those videos coming. So... I also got the four deepish shades. So I got Cherish, Love Struck, Electric Bloom, and Paradise Venus. And I will show you all of these just in case you, for some reason, have not seen these, which I highly doubt. So this, that's the only thing. I wish that the names were on the bottom of these. So this one is Cherish. So it's like a classic pink, okay? It's coming across as like baby doll pink, but it's it's more of a, like a light raspberry pink, okay? Like, and all of these show up on me fabulously. So it's not an issue of like, oh, does it look chalky or anything like that? They show up on me fabulously, whereas I knew, I knew, I knew them Hermes blushes were not gonna do it. And I, I really wanted those, like I really, one of those but i also heard that people didn't really enjoy the compact and so i would have been disappointed so i saved my coins okay so the next color is a love struck and this is like a, a a berry wine color this like if you want to look painted which sometimes i really want to look like oh look at your makeup right then this is a great color um as well okay and listen, I'm trying to learn how to swatch, right? I, I don't think I've ever, If you, I think if you go back on my YouTube channel, even when I did a couple of makeup tutorials back in the day, I don't think swatching was a thing back then. Um, <laughs> it was before the era of YouTube partnerships and affiliate links and all of that. Okay, um, so, ooh, pretty. I don't know if y'all can see. So that's Desert Orchid. That is Cherish. That is Love Struck. Like I said, I'm learning, I'm learning to swatch here okay electric bloom let me tell you electric bloom actually matches her lip divino in electric lotus perfectly which is one of my favorite shades so this is like if coral and terracotta had a baby but coral had the dominant gene <laughs> then that's what this would be and so i i love this like even, even on deep skin, like this shows up so well. And if you really want that, like it's summer, you know, I'm ready to be by the poolside kind of corally orangey pink flush, then Electric Bloom is just that. So, I mean, I don't know if you can see that. It is gorgeous. Y'all, my swatches are like trash. Okay. Listen, we're going to get there. Bear with me, okay? My professional swatchers, give me some tips in the comments because I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm going to get there. Listen, grow with me. Grow with me, okay? And then the last color, which has become my favorite, my favorite everyday color is Paradise Venus, okay? 
And Paradise Venus is like a deep terracotta. Um, and I actually have a color very similar to this from Beauty Bakery, but the formula of this one, it's a little less orange than the Beauty Bakery um, one that I have. And it's a, so it's a little less orange, a little less chalky than the Beauty Bakery one that I have, a little bit more brown. Oh, like, do you see this? And so for me, it is just like, it's almost like a neutral blush. Like if that's such a thing, like if there would be a blush for my skin tone, then Paradise Venus would be it. And so I know some people with fair complexions were like, ooh, you know, the deeper shades, you really have to be careful. I don't, I have deeper skin, so I can just slap it on my face. Um, oh, you can't, there we go. So that's Paradise Venus. So I actually have on the Beauty Bakery one today. I wish I knew the name of it. I actually got it at Target randomly. and But I also have on Desert Orchid as the highlight. Okay, so these, like this is the worst swatch session. But these are the five colors that I got. And I think they're all very distinctive. And I really, really like them. Okay, so... Along with that, she released a quad, and this will be the second quad that I have gotten from Pat McGrath, and this is called the Venus and Fleurs Luxe Quad Voyeuristic Vixen. I feel like Pat is like, listen, y'all gonna get this alliteration, y'all gonna get these tongue twisters or whatever. So it comes in similar packaging, but the box is bigger than the blush, okay? Um, I will say this, I I will say I'm one of the people that I wish Pat was more consistent with her packaging. It is not a deal breaker, but like, I yes, I love the logo on the on the top, like on the other quads, like on the, on the mothership. I wish that was also on the blush. And I'm also missing the gold plate on the back, right? I, I miss that. As someone who's worked in packaging and manufacturing, I understand that sometimes like the cost of those things, you really have to ask yourself, how much is that going to take away from the consumer's experience based on the ROI of how much it costs? Because I know having that gold plate on the back that she has on her older quads and on her motherships is expensive, to make and probably put into production. Same thing with this special gold embossed here, right? So I, I totally get it. Just like this has a magnetic closure and the blushes had like a push clasp closure, right? Um, so this is significantly heavier. Again, I understand packaging and manufacturing, former engineer here, so I and I used to work in manufacturing, so I totally understand that cost. But y'all, this quad, I know, yeah, I'm, listen, these, these things have been used. I know that people have already talked about this. It even works on my skin tone. Now, this color for me works as like, it's it's deep enough for sure. It's not as deep as what I have on today, which I think this is like, I don't even remember what I put on. Um, I gotta get better because like, that's part of being a beauty content creator is to share what you have on your face. I digress. I do have on Pat's concealer though, but I have it mixed with something. Anyway, this still, I still can get a look out of just with this color. Now, I personally like a much deeper crease. So sometimes I do add, but this is plenty, like if you want a really soft, deep, like it's deeper than my skin tone enough that I can use this. This shade right here, baby, I put this on and I went out one day and everywhere I went, people were like, your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow. Now, it is chunky. It is flaky. If you are not careful, it will fall out in all of your face and you will be looking like a disco ball. But if you know how to work with it and you, it's like one tap, one tap, that's all you need. Like I will literally have this too. I'm 105 because you literally don't, I wouldn't even use a brush with this shade. You literally tap it, tap it on, you're done. You can do one tap and do two eyes and you're done. Like it's going to take me 737 years to use this one shade. But when I tell you it is gorgeous, let me see if I can, I'm, I'm a swirl it, but I shouldn't like, can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. And then can y'all, can y'all see that? It's a dual, it's going from like 
a peachy bronze to a pink. Oh, and let me swatch the brown while I'm at it so that you can see what I'm talking about. That ooh, it's the brown is so I, I we gotta find another word for buttery because I just don't want to be one of those creators that uses buttery for everything, but it is so silky smooth. It is just so you see what I'm saying? It's deep, it's plenty deep. Like y'all, let me oh, is that better? It's plenty deep. But, um, y'all, okay, so that's the blushes. I, she also released a limited edition lip divinyl along with that in Flesh 7, and it's what I have on today. I have, a, I have this is Flesh 7 with a little bit of Flesh 3 mixed in. When I tell you that Flesh 7 is my perfect nude, like, I never understood when people said, oh, I'm going to order a backup of this or whatever. I was like, a backup? Like, is it that serious? Yes, it is a serious matter. Shout out to my sororers, okay? It's a serious, serious matter. I'm literally, I literally have a backup th of this in my cart on her website right now because this color is not too orange. It's not too pink. It's not too red. It's not too brown. And on me... It is my exact nude. I don't I don't need a lip liner. I don't need a gloss. I don't need a matte lipstick underneath it. I don't need anything. And I realized, even when I look back at some of my videos, that I basically have been trying to create this color my whole life. I have been trying to cocktail together lip liners and lipsticks and, and come close enough that things were a little too orange or too red or too pink or too purple. I have been trying to create this color my whole life. I will pay whatever she asks me for this. So yes, I she's having a sale right now. I have a mothership in my cart. I want to try her foundation. I also want to get a different concealer color because the color that I have, which I, the concealer formula, oh, that's the thing. I did buy the concealer. Okay, that came with this order. I don't have it with me. It's, it's at my vanity. But the concealer, baby, I love, I have been looking for a concealer. I still want to try the Dior concealer. I have been looking for a concealer. The only mistake that I made is this color is like my skin tone match. So it's great for covering up dark circles or discoloration. But if I want a little bit of brightening, I have to add something to it. So I want to go up to the right shade with the right undertone. So that's in my cart as well. But another, the point is another one of these flesh sevens is in the cart. And because I do love her Divinal formula so much, I picked up Dark Romance, okay, which is like a purpley kind of color, which is going to be great for fall because I have four more of her Divinal shades that come in the pink packaging. And so I have a mini Flesh 7. And so in my cart right now is a full size Flesh 7. But this is Dark Romance. And I think this is going to be great for when I wear, want to wear like fuchsia purpley looks, okay. So that's all the Pat McGrath that I recently got. And then last but not least, I picked up the Patrick Ta palette. Listen, I saw this on Trend Mood and I was like, I've been looking for an everyday one-stop, one-shop palette. First of all, it's gorgeous. I love the size. So... When I saw it on Trim Mood, I said these colors, these colors, particularly on this side, will give me every day. And so my my skin tone is neutral, slightly warm. And so when I saw this online, I was like, I already know I'm getting it. I didn't know I was going to get it. I hadn't heard about it. When I saw it, I was like, yep, this is my signature makeup look in a palette. Like, this is my signature look. You know, people say they have an everyday makeup look. I don't have an everyday makeup look because I don't wear makeup every day. But I do have, like, a signature look. This is my signature look in a palette. And it's giving me, you know, my transition shades. It's giving me these creams here, which I actually enjoy. Um, I would say if you're my complexion, they actually show up a little bit lighter than you expect, but they're a great base. Okay. So, and I love that it has the little flap over it. You know, if I want a brow bone highlight, if I want to do a lighter color on the lid, I have that. I've got some sparkly browns here, inner corner highlights. I have everything. I really don't do inner corner highlights, but that's what people say. Uh, I really enjoy this palette. Now, 
I was watching Kelsey Brianna J's review on this palette and she was comparing this palette to the Natasha Den Denona bronze palette, which I have, and the Natasha Denona Biba palette, which I also have. And I will say it's not the same. It's not the same. It will it give you similar looks sort of this is this is very neutral okay this is not warm this is neutral okay bronze is hot okay biba the first two rows are warm so bronze is hot biba is warm for the most part this is neutral 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 okay so when i wear this it pulls neutral neutral on me not neutral warm neutral not new it doesn't really do neutral cool but it's not as warm as I typically do my makeup okay I I love it I love it I love it it's my first product from Patrick Ta and I absolutely enjoy it so I'm intrigued to see what he comes out with in the future so with that being said y'all this is me dipping my toe into creating beauty content. I hope that you enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any of the things that I picked up. Um, I definitely got some more things coming. I probably will at some point go section by section and share with you guys my new curated beauty collection and what I kind of learned about myself along the way, which I think would be helpful. And uh, let me know if you want to see like skincare stuff hair care stuff, all the things. I might be doing the videos anyway, so like turn your notifications on and make sure that you're subscribed. And I will say, you know, if you're curious, I'm probably gonna be leaning more high-end luxury in my beauty content. So if you like that, great, I'm excited. If that's not really your jam, just giving you a heads up. That's kind of what I'm into right now. So uh, you probably won't see a lot of drugstore uh, on my channel but that's it y'all I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time peace